Okay, folks, this is like marking the end of an era as of January last year, the last time, and how it's going to affect me when I get married to my partner Luigi, if I can get in touch with him through the 6 o'clock news on Channel 9. And I'm trying to get in touch, but it's already too late. I've been working on this campaign for more than 10 years, and I still haven't seen any, um, any um, progress on the television side of things and I'm trying to get it out there but too late I've lost something that means a lot and it's something that I missed out on in the best years of my life that were shot down the fucking toilet I shot my my the best years of my life down the toilet that I could have had with Luigi and now I want it back but it's too late now I can't have have it all now it's just like uh, you'll see what I'm talking about folks you'll know what I'm talking about when I show you but it's really sad it's really a, a miss that I really something I really wanted when I was very young and I went I matured very quickly and early and unfortunately I never made it <laughs> it's just like fucked it up folks Anyway, enough of that, enough about the preamble, this is what we're talking. I found this on the street, Libra, so this is to do with periods, menopause. The doctors told me I'm going through menopause, and menopause means I don't have those hormones that you need to have a really, really, really rocking uh, sexual functioning or sex life. So I missed out on the best years of my sexual life. Uh, and I'm really regretful I did, and I'm really angry at myself and angry at other people who contributed towards it. People from school who teased and bullied me mercilessly. People from church who treated me like I was an outcast. So, you know, I got really badly mistreated and that sort of rubbed off on my how I felt as a woman and it fucked everything up. And basically, I'm now left without a functioning, a sexual functioning now. I have been, I used to suffer from frigidity. I wasn't diagnosed, but I'm, it's all pretty obvious what being frigid's all about. And I had problems, I had been in some bad situations and they rubbed off on me and made me feel really scared of sex and all that sort of shit. And basically, just I think we've got too much red. And basically, yeah, I couldn't function and I had an awakening back in 2011 and I was able to get myself going sexually on my own. Uh, but then when my dad kicked me out of his place that I was staying at, I lost my sex drive again and I became almost as if I was again frigid and I still have that frigid feeling now. Now that looks really interesting. I don't know if I really like it. Maybe I'll enlarge it more on the down that way both ways. But I don't have periods anymore and I I'm concerned that with Luigi and I, we're not going to have as much good good sex because we have to rely on hormones. I have to rely on hormone, you know, what would, I think they call it hormone replacement therapy. HRT, I think it's called. And, you know, it's not as nice as being natural, you know, like having a natural functioning. Uh, it's not as nice as being natural. But unfortunately, I have no choice. The old saying, beggars can't be choosers, folks. So I'm going to need hormones. Injections, tablets, maybe. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. KY jelly. You know, that lubricant, personal lubricant. That is just so unnatural to me. It's not like the original. The original that is produced... Um, 
biologically by your own body. Nothing beats it. You know, nothing can beat it. And yet I have to now allow myself to accept that I can't have a natural sexual functioning anymore, that everything has to be fucking synthetic. It's like I don't find that r romantic. I don't find... It's like, to me, makeup is like that as well. That... And how... Why, I just don't understand why people feel they got to have, like, surgery to correct, to add, you know, breast implants, because they're not real breasts. They pretend, and yet people still feel a need to go under the knife. It's not natural. If you haven't got it, you haven't got it. That's just it. You haven't got it. Uh, however much it's sad if you don't like your body because you haven't got breasts. Um, but basically, uh, I, I'm uh, sorry if I've insulted anyone. I didn't mean it that way, but I do feel I'm a person who likes things all natural. And I really wish I didn't have to rely on uh, synthetic hormones to make me have a have a, a good time in the bedroom. I actually wonder if we're going to make this into a negative image. But I really just wish wish I didn't have to, you know, rely on hormones that are synthetically made instead of the natural the natural ones. You know, the ones that come from your body. You know, the stuff that comes from your body naturally. There's nothing like it, folks, in my books. I used to have, I used to make a lot of slippery stuff when I was a 12 year old. I started developing characteristics when I was as young as eight. So you can imagine I feel kind of ripped off that I couldn't enjoy sex early. Like when I was 19, I had the opportunity to do that with Luigi when I was 19 and I never took on the opportunity. And now it's just a missed opportunity and basically I feel ripped off by the people that hurt my feelings, by myself even. I really feel like I just lost lost the best years of my fucking life the best years of my sexual life you know I had bad relationships I got sexually abused um, so I never really enjoyed my assets until it was too late and that's come up looking really quite nice the green colour uh, I do think I've made it too big uh, but I really miss miss the um, opportunities that I had when I was young and when I was fresh and all the rest of it. And I really miss I really miss the. Um, I wonder how big we're going to make this. I'm going to get rid of the colour. But yeah, I feel like I missed the boat, folks. The best years of my life ruined. And now I turned 50 on the 1st of January. So I'm relying on Channel 9 to save me from this. No, I know they can't save me from my menopause. You know, I'm not expecting that because menopause has been and menopause has gone. And I just haven't really... I never enjoyed myself as a woman and now I have to fucking... I will have to rely on the synthetics to give me some kind of mojo and I'm really angry that I'm that at the people at school I'm angry at the people at church and fellowship who didn't show me respect they can go fuck themselves because I'm fucking lost because of them largely because of them they made they were like the straw that broke the camel's back and the camel already had a broken back so fuck it so I have to fucking rely on synthetics to give me back some kind of sexual functioning. And I'm not happy. Not happy, churchies. Not happy, schoolies. Go the hell, all of you!
stupids, fuckwits, cunts. You ruined my fucking life, bitches. You made me make the wrong choices when I was vulnerable and young, when I was only a 19-year-old woman or girl. And you fucked me up. You made me choose the wrong relationships. You made me choose the wrong path in life. And now I have to rely on synthetics for my first sex. I have not had sex yet. I'm still a virgin, folks. So I've never, I never got to experience young sex. Not even young masturbation. So I learned to masturbate when I was in 2011 to 2014. And it was the best I'd ever experienced. And it was like a taste of what could have been, folks. And now it's gone. I, I don't have it anymore. I can't masturbate. I haven't tried because I don't have the urge. And that was like back in years ago. But it was the best. That was when I was... 38 till the age of 41 and I had my last period last year in in 2022 in January 2022 that was my last period and it's gone now it's all gone periods are gone I'm now in menopause I'm not happy but I have to accept what's happened and try to rebuild from scratch and that's come up looking really quite a treat I do think we could do maybe a uh, switcheroo. So go and do a switcheroo, folks. But basically, I'm not happy with what the way I was mistreated at school and mistreated at church. And you think the people at church should have been nice and kind, being so-called fucking Christians, and that they, they themselves, you know, they they had it was okay for them to have relationships. Why couldn't I? They fucking made me feel like I was inferior because I was disabled. Disability discrimination, folks. But that's come up looking quite nice as well. I think we can now call this demo quits.